Number 8. Bolivian Boys In May of 2020, three brothers from Bolivia were hospitalized after each of them was bitten by a black widow spider. The circumstances surrounding the attack were rather unusual. The boys aged 8, 10 and 12 had stumbled upon the spider while herding goats in the country's Chianta province. They provoked it with a stick and took turns, allowing the dangerous arachnid to sink its venomous mandibles in their skin. The children hoped that by doing so, they'd be granted powers similar to those of Spider-Man, their favorite superhero. It's worth mentioning that Black Widow Venom is incredibly potent and estimated 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. The children fell violently ill and their mother found them crying. Telemundo reported on the story, mentioning that they were treated in a local medical center. They were suffering from fever, muscle pain, and general tremors. Their condition improved after anti-venom was administered and a week later, the boys were discharged. Black widows are highly venomous spiders, belonging to the Latrodectus genus. Mature females are usually dark brown or shiny black, and most species will exhibit bright red or orange markings, usually in the shape of an hourglass on the underside of their abdomens. Aside from their venomous bite, black widow spiders are also infamous for the prevalence of cannibalism during reproduction. Females, which are much larger, will sometimes consume their partners after mating, a behavior from which the spider draws its common name. Sexual cannibalism is, however, more common in laboratory settings. In nature, males will choose a mate that is fed, which they can determine by detecting chemicals in the web. They'll also send out specific vibrations on the female's web to indicate that they're mates and not potential prey. Another remarkable aspect about black widows is the ultimate tensile strength of its web, which is correspondingly stronger than steel. While not typically aggressive towards humans, a black widow will strike without hesitation if disturbed. Number 7. Nicholas Cook 30-year-old Nicholas Cook from Colorado almost went blind in the aftermath of a Black Widow attack. He was bitten by the arachnid in his sleep and woke up feeling what he described as a searing, burning sensation. Cook then discovered two gaping wounds in his cheek. Fearing the cost of treatment, he decided to put off going to a doctor. Then, two days later, he found another wound on his abdomen. Cook decided to get examined after half his face became horribly swollen and pus started oozing from the wound on his torso. The doctors determined a black widow had been responsible, but had no anti-venom or specific treatment. Cook was monitored and given painkillers. He worked a minimum wage job and after he recovered, set up a GoFundMe page to manage his medical bills. Number 6. Kaylin Donovan After she was bitten by a black widow spider, five-year-old Kaylin Donovan developed a horrific wound. The child was attacked at her family's home in Meaden, Massachusetts. Her mother initially thought that Kaylin merely had a bruise on the back of her knee. However, as the venom infected the little girl's tissue, the bite site developed into a large black and purple wound. The child was treated at UMass Memorial Medical Center by a pediatric infectious disease doctor. She was put on a course of antibiotics and expected to heal without scarring. In the incident's wake, the Donovan family decided to have their backyard fumigated. There are roughly 32 Black Widow species, distributed in temperate regions all over the world on every continent with the exception of Antarctica. In parts of Southeastern Asia and throughout Australia, the most common species is the Redback Spider. The European Black Widow covers an extensive area in the Mediterranean, from Southern Iberia to Southwest and Central Asia. Species in Southern Africa are known as Button Spiders, while those in North America are usually classified in accordance to the regions they inhabit. Black widows have a preference for nesting in dark and dry places. These include rodent holes, hollow stumps or wood piles, as well as barns, outhouses, garages or basements. To feed, the arachnid will hang upside down, waiting for insects to get stuck in its web. The black widow is a comb-footed spider, meaning that it has bristles on the last segment of its hind legs that resemble a comb. This enables the Black Widow to quickly wrap silk around its ensnared and envenomated prey. It will then inject digestive enzymes that liquefy the corpse and suck up the fluid. Number 5. Thierry A French man only identified as Thierry suffered a severe reaction to the venom of the European Black Widow. 
He was having dinner at home when he felt a bite on his tibia. Thierry saw the spider but didn't think too much of the incident. That night, his leg became swollen and he developed a high fever. He took a painkiller and went back to bed. The man met some of his friends the following day, but his condition continued to decline. He got home but when he didn't answer his phone because he was too weak, his friends got worried. They called emergency services and Thierry was taken to the hospital. His condition improved drastically after 48 hours and a shock dose of antibiotics. Number 4. Scott Gildard Scott Gildard was one of two Black Widow victims to be reported in Oregon within the span of two weeks. Gildard, a resident of Josephine County, was returning home from work when he saw a black spider bite him on the left knee. At first, the man could cope with the pain, but it soon took a turn for the worse. Within a few days, Gildard would wake up in the middle of the night sweating profusely. He'd suffer excruciating muscle spasms, which he claimed felt as if he was being kicked by a mule. Gildard eventually decided to seek treatment, and his recuperation began with a course of antibiotics. Several days later, he'd still experience muscle cramps and couldn't put any pressure on his left leg. The second victim, a woman from Jackson County, had been bitten on the hand. She recovered as well but told a media outlet she'd felt muscle cramps from her shoulders to her legs. Latrotoxins are the main active components of black widow venom. Of them, alpha latrotoxin is a neurotoxin that specifically targets the receptors of vertebrates. In spite of its notoriety, the bite of a black widow and the illness associated with it, called latrodectism, is rarely fatal for humans. The illness only occurs in about 25% of bites if a substantial dose of venom has been injected. It starts with a pinprick or burning sensation and eventually develops into flu-like symptoms. The pain expands from the bite site and worsens, usually over the course of the next hour. The typical development of latrodectism is characterized by severe sweating, vomiting, weakness, and muscle rigidity. The abdominal cramps associated with envenomation reportedly feel as if someone's repeatedly kicking the victim in the stomach. Unless treated with antivenom, the victim may experience muscle pains for weeks after being bitten. In very rare cases, the venom can cause the rapid degradation of skeletal muscles or an inflammation of the heart muscle. The latter has been associated with at least one human death. Number 3. Richard Highsmith While working in the produce section of a New Jersey Whole Foods branch, Richard Highsmith was bitten by a black widow. In August of 2017, the arachnid crawled out of a crate and attacked the worker. As the potent venom rippled through his arm, he experienced temporary paralysis. Highsmith was off work for a month and required multiple hospital stints and hand therapy. When he returned, Highsmith suffered debilitating anxiety whenever he approached the produce cooler. The mere thought of encountering another Black Widow gave him panic attacks. He claims that he begged to be moved to a different department but never heard back. Highsmith ultimately stopped going to work and was fired for job abandonment. As a result, he sued Whole Foods, seeking damages, lost wages, as well as lawyers' fees and costs. Today's topic was requested by Christian Reyes. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Jeff Seal In July 2011, former baseball prospect Jeff Seal died in circumstances possibly involving Black Widow bites. Seal, from Erie, Colorado, worked at a horse stable and had likely picked up the spider in his shoe. He was bitten about 19 times on his foot and for a few days experienced joint and muscle pains. Seal went to get checked out but didn't follow up on his treatment. He reportedly became obsessed with eliminating the spiders from his home and even had his house fumigated. His physical condition improved, but he still exhibited some flu-like symptoms. The former high school baseball star ultimately died two weeks after he'd discovered the bites. On the day of his death, he'd woken up in excruciating pain and couldn't get up to do anything. Some wildlife experts argued that the spider hadn't caused Seal's death. They claimed that black widows don't typically inflict 19 bites and even if they do, it's highly unusual for death to occur after two weeks. Even though latrodectism symptoms often self-resolve within hours or several days, it's best to seek professional medical help if you've been bitten. When the pain becomes unbearable, the administration of antivenom is the typical course of action. The manner of obtaining antivenom is rather interesting. 
horses will be injected with black widow toxins and over a period of time develop antibodies. The horse blood is then extracted and purified so that the antibodies can be used on humans. Treatment options also include muscle relaxants and pain medication. Benzodiazepines and morphine are known to ease muscle spasms in the majority of patients. Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number 1. Pat Myrtle Pat Myrtle, a scout for the New York Yankees, was on the verge of sepsis after he was bitten by a black widow. In 2019, he was at a game in Arizona when he felt a pinch on his thigh. The following morning, he could feel a knot at the bite site. He was examined by a doctor in Phoenix, but since there was no discoloration, the strange mark wasn't identified. Myrtle's condition worsened after he flew to Tennessee. The bite site turned into a dark circle and the baseball scout started experiencing joint pains and flu-like symptoms. He went to get checked out again. A doctor told him the infection was so deep in his tissue that only surgery could help. Because Myrtle had flown, the altitude had actually played a role in the spreading of venom and he was close to becoming septic. After a 45-minute operation, the infected tissue was cut out and the scout promptly returned to work. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get bitten by a black widow spider or walk a mile barefoot through shards of broken glass? Let us know in the comments section below.